on to our dinosaur of the day, Alvarezsaurus, which we first learned about actually looking on Saurian's blog. And if you recall, Saurian is a game currently in development. We had a good interview with members of the development team a few weeks back. So Alvarezsaurus, the name means Alvarez's lizard, and it lived in the late Cretaceous. It was found in the Bajo de la Carpa formation in Argentina, named by Jose Bonaparte in 1991. But it was named after the historian Don Gregorio Alvarez. This is not to be confused with Luis Alvarez, who is the physicist and amateur paleontologist who came up with the theory that an asteroid killed the dinosaurs. So Luis Alvarez and his son Walter, a geologist, came up with the Alvarez theory of extinction that you know, a large asteroid hit Earth and caused a mass extinction. But again, not named after them, named after the historian Don Gregorio Alvarez. The type species is Alvarezsaurus calvoy. Alvarezsaurus was about six and a half feet or two meters long and weighed about 45 pounds or 20 kilograms. It was bipedal with a long tail and probably a fast runner. It had long legs, long feet, short arms, and a long S-shaped neck. And its tail, again, was very long. It was actually over half the dinosaur's length. It probably had feathers or at least feather-like structures. No skull has been found, but scientists have found vertebrae, a scapula, a partial pelvis, and partial hind limbs and teeth. It had small unserrated teeth, and it may have eaten insects. It possibly used its arms for digging, though its arms would have been too short to dig burrows, so it may have clawed into rotting logs for termites. Its claws could have been used to dig out the holes in termite mounds and then pick off the termites, but interestingly, modeling studies don't really support this theory, so it's not completely clear what the claw was used for. You can see Alvarezsaurus in the Discovery Channel show Dinosaur Planet, where it's shown as a predator of a juvenile Saltosaurus, though they didn't actually live at the same time. Alvarezsaurus lived about 5 million years earlier than Saltosaurus. At one point, Alvarezsaurus was thought to be a flightless bird, but now it's considered a dinosaur. And actually, at one point, all members in its family, Alvarezsauridae, were thought to be birds. Alvarezsaurus is one of the larger ones in its group. The type genus is the least complete and least understood in the Alvarezsaur group. Close relatives that are better known include Shivulia and Mononychus, which is considered to be more of a bird than a dinosaur. It was different from other carnivorous dinosaurs at the time, again, because it might have eaten insects. Another Alvarezsaur from the same formation is Achillosaurus. One study from 2012 said that Achillosaurus may be a synonym for Alvarezsaurus, though many people still consider it its own genus. Alvarezsauridae is a family of small dinosaurs with long legs, so they could probably run fast. They're feathered with small, powerful arms with one digit, and each digit had a large claw. And they lived about 88 to 66 million years ago. They've been found in North and South America as well as Asia. They vary in length, 20 to 80 inches or half to 2 meters, though some may have been larger. So they ranged in size from the size of pigeons to turkeys. They're very specialized. They have small bird-like hands, large arm muscles, which would have been good for digging or tearing, tubular snouts, long jaws, and small teeth. They're fast. They probably use their claws to dig out ants and termites, but... Again, their arms were so short they would have had to lie on their chests against the nests to reach the insects. So it's also possible they did something else, but it's not clear what that would have been yet. But one reason scientists think that they might have dug for ants or termites is that mammals such as anteaters have stout clawed arms and they're toothless, which are similar to and they're similar to Alvarezsaurus. But the only way to know for sure what Alvarezsaurus ate would be to find a coprolite or some kind of evidence that shows what it ate. They were thought to be the earliest known flightless birds, but now researchers think they were primitive members of Manoraptora. So in 1993, another alvarezsaur was discovered called Mononychus olecranus, which means one claw. And even then, the family Alvarezsauridae was thought to be flightless birds based on the derived feathers they had unique to birds. Other members of the group later discovered were found to reinforce this idea until Shuvia mongoliensis in 1998 was mistakenly described as being more derived, causing this group to be thought of as modern birds, a crown group. And one species, Shuvia deserti, had preserved down-like feathery structures. These features were thought to be uniquely bird-like, as well as other features, such as the elongated sternum, the palatine, cervical, and caudal vertebrae. But an analysis in 1999 found that alvarezsaurids were somewhat related to Ornithomimosauria, the ostrich dinosaurs. 
and that these bird-like characteristics came from convergent evolution. So in 2007, they were placed as the most basal group in Manoraptora. <laughs> 